Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our master series. Today we have um, Lee Gano joining us, and he will be doing a presentation on the villa on Dunbar Rock and cabanas on Clark's K, um, both in Guanaja. So we're going to have Lee take it away, and um, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Let me uh, switch here and get over here. All right, today we're going to talk about Guanaja in the Bay Islands off of Honduras. And we have two resorts there. We have the villa on Dunbar Rock and we have cabanas on Clark's Key. Um, both of these, sorry, this is not changing. There we go. So the location, just so you know, most people know where Roatan is and we're about seven to 10 miles off if you went tip to tip from island to island and about 36 to 40 miles if you were uh, going from about 40 miles from airport to airport and also about 40 miles off the mainland of Honduras. Um, just to give you kind of reference, we're the farthest east island in the Bay Islands. To get there, you have regularly scheduled flights that come into uh, Roatan from uh, all the international or the major airlines, Delta, American, all come into Roatan. And then we have scheduled flights from Roatan to Guanaja, uh, depending on how many passengers. I'm sorry, Lee, could you um, uh, uh, stop your share screen and restart it? Uh, we need you to uncheck one of the boxes. Okay. Okay, stop your share screen. On the check boxes, make sure they're unchecked with your share screen. How's that? Okay. Beautiful, thank you. All right, so uh, you might go through La Ceiba, which is a quick stop. Usually with uh, groups of 10 or more on the flight, they will, on Saturdays, they will provide a, a, a straight flight from Roatan to Guanaja, which is only about a 15 uh, minute flight. Um, we have people uh, that work at the Roatan airport that will help you make that flight and everything. And then our staff will meet you at the airport. And that flight is uh, approximately $200 uh, with about a 50 pound weight limit. Um, so with your, your, all your baggage and things like that because of the, the smaller size of the flight. There are, to change. All right. Another choice that you might have is if you have three or four people, there is a charter flight uh, that's a smaller plane. Uh, the that flight cost is approximately 350 each way um, and has, with four people, you do have a 200 pound luggage limit. Um, but that is another way to, to get across if you have just a few people and don't want to wait for the regularly scheduled flight. Once you arrive at the airport, uh, we will be there to, to meet you and gather all the luggage tags and everything and get all the bags. Uh, and what you can see there from the airport, you walk out of the airport and straight down to, to one of our boats that we will pick you up and we will have some rum punch for you or some sodas for you. Uh, to get you going. And then it's about a 10 to 15 minute ride, depending if you're going to the villa or to Clark's Key. Once you arrive at the resort, uh, the staff will take all your bags to your rooms. Uh, we'll have a short little ma manager's party uh, around five o'clock to get you all registered. There's a uh, marine park fee that's $10 that helps support uh, all the mooring lines that we put in. Um, and the park rangers and things like that for our marine park. And then you do a credit card authorization with a Visa or MasterCard. In Honduras, we cannot take American Express or Discover. Our on-site management includes uh, Jennifer Izagari, who is the resort operations manager for Dunbar Rock. She is also the food and beverage director uh, for both resorts. Uh, Dennis is our general manager. Uh, he's also one of our PADI instructors uh, and an SSI instructor. And uh, he's a, he works at both resorts and keeps things running. And then myself, 
I'm the, the resort operation manager over at Clark's Key and also over the dive shop and dive training um, for both locations. All right, I'm gonna unstop here and I think we have a video for you. So this is a villa on Dunbar Rock, and it is literally a four-story villa built out on a rock about 200 yards off the main island of, Hun uh, of Guanaja. Um, I'm not sure why these don't change as fast. There we go. So the total property space is 15,000 square feet, um, goes across these four floors, all the way down to a beautiful beach down, uh, uh, obviously sea level. And this is a great place to hang out on the beach. Uh, also, if you wanna do some diving or snorkeling, it's a great entry point uh, to go in and out of the water. From there, you can uh, hang out, do some snorkeling, take the kayaks out, and it's very calm water in this, in this area. From there to get up to the main levels, there's two ways to do it. There are uh, a series of st stairs, three stair flights of stairs that you can go up to get up there, or there's a nice kind of meandering ramp that goes up around the villa uh, to get to the side, to the top if you don't want to take the stairs. So. As you're going up, the first level that you'll get to is where the presidential suite is, and it's pretty much just a, on the second level and you have a beautiful, beautiful room here. You have a small uh, living area equipped with refrigerators and we keep the, in all our suites, we keep the refrigerator stocked with local beer and soda, thing, or whatever you might want. Um, there's a room divider with the king bed, uh, a desk area, and a flat screen TV. And then amazingly, you walk out the back door and there's actually a little private balcony with its own hot tub uh, and sitting area. 
and this room has a maximum of two people in it. As you go up from there, you reach the, the main level, the courtyard area, and in a courtyard uh, just filled with hummingbirds and different types of lizards and things like that that are there. Um, just a great, beautiful area with orchids growing in the trees and all sorts of, of flowers. And this will lead you into the main area, which is the living and dining area. And this is pretty much kind of the central location where everything's going on. This is where dinner is served. Um, we have an outdoor seating that sometimes on beautiful days we'll have lunch out there when people are coming in from diving or have been out in the pool. But we'll usually do dinner in this room. It also has a, a TV in there and some books and games and things like that. So you can sit around and enjoy yourself uh, when, you're, when you're not out diving or playing in the pool. Uh, from there, you can also get to the gift shop, um, sliding glass doors, doors that will lead out to the pool and everything. We also have a pool table that is right off of this room. So you can go out there and shoot pool when you want to. And you'll head out to the bar area and pool area. And this pool is about 40 to 50 feet off the ground on this floor of the rock. So it's pretty amazing because it's an infinity edge pool. So you sit there and you're just looking out over the ocean and over the reefs, uh, kind of looking towards the uh, mainland of Honduras. Uh, you can see in that first picture behind people, that's where the bar is and there's lots of seating out there for you to hang out. Uh, also in the middle of the pool, uh, we're very proud of a beautiful, beautiful bronze sculpture that Wyland uh, did for us. And uh, so it is mounted in the pool. So makes great shots from sitting at the bar, shooting towards the dolphin. You get some amazing sunset pictures when you're sitting there. So our food and beverage service, I mentioned G Jenny Izagari uh, earlier. She is the director of uh, food and beverage for both properties. Uh, she was actually born and raised in Honduras, but she went to the Culinary Institute in New York and got her degrees there. She has gone on and worked for the Four Seasons for over 10 years in different properties around the United States and actually around the world. Uh, so the, the food there is just amazing. She works very hard getting all our chefs up to date on different, different types of foods. We can handle different types of diets. Um, if people have uh, any type of dietary needs, uh, we try to get you a guest profile that we'll send out. And we'd like to get that back from everyone about a month prior to arrivals so that we're aware of any dietary restrictions or preferences uh, so that we can do all the the provisioning and things like that, because a lot of things that we'll, we'll have sent over from, from the mainland. But the food is just amazing. I think everyone will be very happy with that. To talk about some of the rooms, uh, every single room at Dunbar faces the ocean in one direction or the not. So you can go out on your balcony and just have an amazing oceanfront view. Uh, you have private patios, all the rooms are air conditioned. Uh, they have ceiling fans. There's a digital safe in every room, uh, obviously private baths and everything. Uh, and we have no TVs in, in any of the rooms. Six of our rooms are set up with two queen beds and have a maximum occupancy of three people. And then we have three king rooms where they have one king size bed that's a maximum occupancy of two people. As you go up, in the villa, uh, we have a top deck where we have several things. One is our, our gym or our cardio massage room. We have an amazing masseuse that has been doing professionally doing massages for over 30 years. And he is about right now about $50 uh, per hour, which is an amazing price for, for massage. Um, we have gym cardio, some weights up there, a treadmill. Um, we also have a few of these chair swings uh, that you can see in the bottom left. Uh, we have two of those, one that faces to the east and one that faces to the west. So depending if you want to watch the sunrise or the sunset, uh, there's also some hammocks that are available in various locations throughout the property to just rest and relax after your day. On the same level is one of our other suites at Dunbar. And this is the penthouse and the penthouse 
uh, again, is pretty much glass all the way around in the living area, 180 degrees uh, views of the ocean and the mainland of Guanaja. We've got the living area has a sitting area, a bar, picnic table, flat screen TV. Um, it includes the bedroom has two queen beds in it and a very large bath area. And this has a maximum occupancy of four people. Once you're settled into your room, we've got obviously lots of things to do. We have the diving, but we also have paddle boards and kayaks that are free of charge to use. Uh, the flats around the villa um, are great for diving and snorkeling. Uh, it's only about 10 feet deep, so it makes for a great night snorkel or day snorkel. Um, great place to shoot picture, underwater pictures, because uh, you get so much light and there's just so much life around the rock that you can go and shoot. So excellent. We can also, if the instructors have uh, training dives they need to do, this is a great first dive because it you have shallow water, accessibility to shallow water, plus you can get out a little bit deeper for any type of uh, familiarization or first dives. The house reef around the rock um, are just, obviously the rock has coral going around it. There's, we always see squid out there. We see lots of juveniles, um, just amazing pictures. You can see some of the, the sea fans and things like that that were taken. Got lots of silver sides that hang out under the docks. We have manta ray, uh, or not, uh, eagle rays that go by all the time. Um, just, just a lot of life around the rock. These are some pictures that were taken for a fish identification book uh, by Mickey Charteris. And these pictures were all taken uh, just literally in 10 feet of water around, around the rock. Uh, so you can see what kind of diversity we have there in the diving. All right, I'm going to turn it back over and show one more video here. Let me go back to that.
Okay, so now we'll talk about cabanas on Clark's Key. Uh, both our resorts, one of the amazing things about them is that you're only going to have about 20 to 22 people there, uh, depending on the resort. And we talked about the villa on Dunbar Rock being a, a four-story villa. Our other property, Cabanas on Clark's Key, is a four-acre private island uh, that holds 20 people. Slide to change. All right, so we have uh, several room choices here. We have seven of the one room cabanas. Uh, these are like duplex uh, cabins that have different one, one room uh, rooms in them, I should say. Um, they've got porches that wrap all the way around. They're all air conditioned. They all have ceiling fans, uh, same digital safes, private bathrooms and no TVs. Um, and all of the rooms can be set up in either a tw two twin beds or one king bed, depending on how people want them set up. And all of these rooms are a maximum of two people. Um, we do have one of our cabanas that's also adjoined to a one bedroom suite. Um, and if people want it, the door can be unlocked so that it turns it into a two bedroom suite. Uh, and that would be this suite right here, Cabana Playa. Uh, room number 10 is a one bedroom suite, but again, can be unlocked with that uh, standard room. Um, it's on the far end of the island and it is very private. It has a beach right outside the door, wrap around porch. Um, again, can be set up in two twins or one king. There's a, a living room area with a futon in it so uh, that it can be made out into a, a sofa bed. There's a refrigerator that would be stocked with your favorite beers and sodas um, and a little kitchen area and microwave in there for popcorn or, or heating up your water for tea or whatever you might want. We also have uh, an amazing room. One of my favorites is Cabana Soul, which is a two bedroom suite. Uh, now this is a single entry with two bedrooms and then a shared living space in it. Uh, but one of the most amazing things about it is that that left-hand picture is the actual upstairs deck. This is actually our only room that is upstairs. And this huge deck um, is just amazing to sit out there. You have the uh, trade wind, the eastern trade winds coming in and blowing across. And depending on which way you turn, we call it Cabana Soul because if you go out your door and you turn left, you can watch the sun rise. And if you turn to the right, you can watch the sun set without ever leaving your deck. So it's just absolutely beautiful. Again, both rooms in this can be set up to be two twin beds or a king. And it also has the uh, queen sofa bed in there. So it's a, a great for family of five or friends, uh, maximum of five people in this room. Again, this would also have the refrigerator uh, stocked with your beers and sodas and things like that for you in a microwave. One of the most fascinating things about uh, Cabanas on Clark's Key is that we have a, basically what we call the water park. We have this beautiful pool that starts off uh, in, with a su sunning deck uh, that's just like eight inches of water going down to the deeper end of the pool, which is actually only about 56 inches deep. So you can just stand at the end and watch the sunset. Uh, we have a hot tub and we have this amazing lazy river that meanders through the through the property or around the pool uh, and has a quick little stop by the bar that you can uh, order your drink. Here's some pictures of that. You can see it's got the waterfall, a tunnel. If you're standing at the end of the pool, at the end of the pool, you can watch the sunset. Uh, or if you're sore from diving, you can enjoy the hot tub and uh, just have an amazing time uh, on that end of the island. We have a uh, Two areas that we kind of eat in and, and have, we have the area called La Casitas, which this is uh, a kind of a game room area. We have a TV in there with a DVD player. We have lots of games and tables that people can set up and play games at night. Um, also, if for any reason we had uh, any bad weather and we didn't want to eat in the open air restaurant, we can eat inside here. Uh, 
Uh, we also start coffee here about 5.30 in the morning for those that wake up early. Uh, the coffee will be ready for them. And right across from that, we have our gift shop uh, where we have different t-shirts and gifts and things like that for you uh, if you need anything. Food and beverage, we kind of talked about. Jennifer oversees this, but you can see pictures here of our, our op open air restaurant that we have down here with the bar. Um, just big fans in there so it stays nice and cool and you have the trade winds blowing through there. Again, we ask that guests do fill out their, their uh, profiles so that we can meet any dietary restrictions that we need to. Um, other activities that people ask about down there besides diving and uh, we have the kayaks and stand up paddle boards and everything also. Uh, we have our wellness center. Our wellness center is out kind of almost jetted out over the ocean a little bit. We do our massages in there. We have the same amazing masseuse that will come in uh, there. We also have yoga mats um, and TRX uh, for those that want to exercise on vacation. Uh, other activities we can get going to are uh, bone fishing. Uh, Guanaja is famous for bone fishing uh, or fly fishing uh, for bone fish, tarpon and permit. Uh, so we see a lot of fly fishermen there. We can also, so we can arrange that. We can also arrange deep sea fishing excursions. Um, and in the spring months, if we have people that are kite boarders, we have a lot of kite boarders that like to come down in the spring because it's so flat and you have this nice steady trade wind coming across. Like I said, we have all the different toys. We have the stand up paddle boards. We have kayaks. Again, it's a great place if you've never tried to stand up paddleboard to, to try it because it's nice and calm. We've got the water trampoline out there. And then throughout the property, when you come in off the beach, we have these tree showers that are uh, shown up there in the upper left picture uh, to, to rinse off before heading back to your room or over to the pool. And we have some really amazing snorkeling. Now, around Clark's Key, the, it's more of the turtle grass and sand flats, um, but some amazing snorkeling around there. It only gets to about six to eight feet th around the property. Uh, so I don't really call it uh, shore diving, but some great snorkeling where you find lobsters and uh, upside beautiful upside down jellyfish. Um, almost every day we get eagle rays that pass by, especially when you're coming in on the boat. It's a good idea to watch out in the sand flats and have the eagle rays. And recently we've actually had a little baby uh, black tip shark that's been living near our dock and circling around there. So it's a lot of fun to go out and snorkel in this area. So let's talk a little bit about the diving. Um, the diving for, for both properties is, is going to be the same. We have over 50 name sites and we've put in on almost all of them, we've put in mooring lines uh, to keep from tearing up the reefs. Uh, one of the amazing things about Guanaja is that it is just pristine because there really hasn't been a lot of uh, tourism there uh, since Hurricane Mitch in 1998. And it's, it's just pristine virgin reefs that, that around. And we have all sorts of different types of diving. You can see on this picture that there's dive sites all the way around the island. So no matter where the wind is coming from, we can go to one side or the other and tuck in behind the island and have nice calm diving. Um, we've got beautiful wrecks and swim throughs and, and just amazing, amazing stuff. The dive conditions there, one of the, uh, one of the great things about it too is that the, most of the dive sites are within 20 or 30 minutes. So a nice short ride. Uh, our farthest one is about 45 to 50 minutes, depending on which resort you're leaving from. And one of the things that's really nice down there too is that there's almost no current. So uh, never have we, that I've been with the company called a dive because of currents or anything like that. Um, and so great place just to relax, go nice and slow. Perfect for underwater photographers with lots of macro photography going on. Um, and honestly, some of the healthiest coral that I've seen in the Caribbean. Again, we talked about we have a beautiful wreck called the Jado Trader. Uh, we have caves and uh, caverns and canyons and pinnacles and just all sorts of 
beautiful diving with a lot of life. Our dive boats are set up. We have two custom dive boats. Uh, they are the Freedom and the Endeavor. They are both 45 feet long and have a capacity of about 22 divers uh, plus crew. The boats have large platforms off the back that you can do a giant stride. You're also able to do back rolls off the side of the boat uh, if, if you choose to. We, uh, we keep purified drinking water and fruits and cookies on the boat for your surface interval snacks. Uh, it's got fresh water showers. We keep a camera rinse tank that's only for cameras. We've got some nice shaded area and dry storage on, on the boat. And we do keep all the safety equipment as far as first aid kits and oxygen on board the boat. Life jackets, everything like that. Um, our typical schedule is that uh, boats will depart for the morning dives and that's a two tank dive. We'll leave about 8.30 and then get back around 12.30 to one to have lunch. Uh, depending on when we get back, we'll then give everybody time to eat lunch and relax a little bit and then we have our afternoon boat, which will leave to 2.30 somewhere in there for a single tank dive uh, that gets back around four o'clock. Give you plenty of time to get in the lazy river and have a sunset snack. Uh, in your package, you're also included one night dive. Um, our, our favorite dive site is one of the prettiest night dives that I've ever been on. And we generally try to schedule that on Tuesday evenings, uh, but of course weather has something to do with that. Um, just got some pictures here. We'll talk about some of the diving. I mentioned the macro photography is amazing. It's uh, the pipe horses, the nudibranchs, um, seahorses. Uh, actually, you've seen a pipe horse. It's the only place in the world I've ever seen a pipe horse. Uh, didn't even know they existed before I found one. Um, and just beautiful, beautiful corals all over. Uh, we try to keep our, our dive master ratios to about eight to one. Uh, there's plenty of room on the boat, plenty of shade. Some more pictures, different pipe fish, arrow blennies, sailfin blennies, uh, just, just some amazing photography opportunities. One of the other things that we do, um, if people want to, is after the first day, we will take zookeepers and pole spears. We try to keep all the lionfish off of the, off of the reefs, so we do that. Um, and the main thing is that we want you to have a good time and not, not have to worry about your dive gear. So our staff will take your gear after that first morning and put it on the boat. They will put it together for you um, at, as the uh, dive day ends. They will take your gear off the boat. They will rinse it. Uh, right now, I know people are getting concerned about uh, the different rules and things for COVID. We are using the, the DAN, uh, Divers Alert Network rules on rinsing gear and things like that. So we have that going into place. Um, and we'll store it at the end of the day for you after it's rinsed off. And then the next morning, it'll all be hooked up and put back on the boat for you. Both of our resorts are Patty SSI, SSI Dive Centers. Um, maintain a nice uh, rental equipment for people. We do have 80s and 63 cubic foot tanks, and we do have a few 100s for those that need them. Um, instructors, if you're visiting a instructor and bringing students, this, this is an amazing place to do classes. Uh, one of the great things about it is if you're a new diver uh, or an experienced diver, you can do most of the dive sites are really set up for um, everybody because of the way the reefs slope down. Uh, I've had uh, Discover Scuba students staying less than 40 feet on the same dives that the dive group was diving at 80 or 90 feet. And as they come up towards the end of the dive, we join back up with the group and finish the dive in, in 30 feet of water. So it's very nice for instructors uh, and for new divers that don't want to go as deep or for like I said, for Discover Scubas and things like that for people that want to try it and they really feel like they're on the same dive as everyone else. We are, uh, we are a reef uh, conservation partner. Uh, we do the roving surveys. If people aren't familiar with that, we, we try to keep some of the slates down there and we'd love to teach you how to, 
how to do those. And that helps us track how the marine park is doing and gets information to, to reef to see what's, what animals we have and, and, and how they're doing throughout, throughout the years. One of the other things that's pretty unique about Gwinnaha is in 2016, uh, the owners of Dunbar Rock and Clark's Key actually bought a hyperbaric chamber working with the municipality down there and with Divers Alert Network. And we had a clinic built and we put the hyperbaric chamber in there. So there is a hyperbaric chamber uh, on Gwinnaha uh, right next to the airport. So uh, that's, that's manned by doctors that were trained from Divers Alert Network. So. That's a, an amazing, amazing thing that we have there. For, for the non-divers, uh, a lot of times you go on, on dive trips and, and the snorkelers don't have a lot of choices. Well, our snorkelers can go out on the dive boats and snorkel around the boat. We'll always tell them what dive sites we're going to. And again, the way our reefs are, the reef might be in 10 or 15 feet of water and the divers are on a 90 foot dive, but coming up to do your safety stop in you know 10 or 20 feet of water and the snorkelers can be there the whole time snorkeling with just just amazing snorkeling it, it is absolutely gorgeous snorkeling uh, for for divers that want to go out or snorkelers that want to go out on the dive boat as well as around the properties we also do some several trips um, i will say that some of these will probably be changing a little bit as as we get into uh, post COVID-19 rules and, and regulations, uh, but we do do a short trip up to the waterfall um, on surface intervals. We have a trip that goes into town um, and just different things to, to kind of be able to experience Guanaja as a whole. And I'll play that, that gives you a lot of information on, on the properties and, and Hopefully I can answer any questions. Hi, Lee, that was wonderful. Uh, certainly you have such a diverse uh, diving experience. Um, so many things for photographers or for beginner divers and advanced diving. And I just can't imagine getting up and, and being on Dunbar Rock and just looking out to the ocean every morning. It must be just amazing. It is, um, it is. I, I know that you were going to host prior to COVID a photojournalist um, from Alert Diver magazine. We so, were. <laughs> that's, yes, and, and that's quite an endorsement for Alert Diver to come down and do a full feature on, on the destination. But it is such, such a wonderful place to travel to. And the nice thing about it is there's so much to do, and you don't have to be in mass, all inclusive resorts to have, be able to access all of those activities. Yeah. Um, you really have a lot to offer. So now I'm going to go ahead and introduce Doris Fister, who is a Caradonna agent, and she has been um, actually uh, doing all of the questions while we've had the presentation going on, and she's going to come on and talk about some topical questions that came up during the presentation, and also Doris is, uh, has recently been to, um, uh, to the cabanas at Clark's Key, and so she has a firsthand experience, so take it away, awesome. Doris. <laughs> Hey guys, so that was awesome, awesome video, a very informative. In fact, a lot of the questions that we had were actually answered, but I do have a few more. And um, just a little thing about my trip when I was there, I am a hunter. So um, <laughs> when I was there, we actually got to go lionfish hunting. And uh, I wanted to ask um, if, if all the customers can do that, if you do any kind of lionfish um, specialty course, I know that's a, that's a thing. And what do you guys do with the lionfish? Do you cook them up for the guests? Um, what, 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 Give us a little run through okay. on that. I know we and, have a lot of hunters. Uh, and it's actually yes to all your questions. We, uh, other than the very yeah. first day, we take, like I said, we take, we have zookeepers on property and we have several uh, pole spears uh, that our dive masters take because we're obviously trying to keep the, the um, lionfish off the reefs. And any customer that would like to learn how to do it or already knows how may, may use it. We do teach the, uh, a patty specialty in, in lionfish hunting. Uh, and we do several things with the lionfish. Uh, the small ones we will we'll 
typically leave on the reef for, for other fish to eat and things like that. But the, the big ones that I always say are for us to eat and we'll come back and the chefs will do some amazing stuff with it. We do a wonderful uh, lionfish ceviche that we do. We also will grill them up and have the fish for, for dinner. Uh, so there's, if you haven't tried lionfish, it is actually a, a wonderful, wonderful fish, uh, light and flaky and uh, my favorite is the ceviche. So we definitely do that. And um, then we'll take the, the rest of the fish. And uh, like I said, there's a little black tip shark that likes to come in and an eagle ray that likes to come in and snack on, uh, on what we throw back in, out into the water. So I think that's why they hang out near the dock so we can feed them. Oh, yeah. That ceviche, oh my gosh, I was there with a couple of uh, other folks and anybody that didn't finish it, I was there scraping, <laughs> the, uh, scraping the bowl with those <laughs> chips. It was fantastic. Oh my gosh, I got to get back there, especially to um, float in that lazy river. That is the bomb. You come out from diving all day, you're salty and, and exhausted and you just, you know, float under that waterfall and it's so refreshing and the bartender comes out and... <laughs> asks what you want to drink right? it's truly heaven heaven on earth <laughs> um we do have a question and you talked about the boats very informative um somebody wants to know if there are bathrooms or heads on the boat yes there are there is a head on each one of the dive boats Fantastic. That's uh, important. Not everybody likes to, um, you know, <laughs> go in the ocean. <laughs> um, okay. And then um, I did want to mention something not so new, but kind of new since I was there. You guys have gone to all inclusive. So um, tell us about just what's on, what's, what does that include? Is it just, you know, alcohol, beverages? What kind of uh, stuff do you guys have on offer there? Yeah, so for our all-inclusive package, obviously your, your, your room, your diving, um, we do 17 dives in a week. Um, if you did all of them, we include the night dive. And then at the bar, uh, our what we call our standard or local package, all the local beers, our house wines, um, our house uh, spirits are all included in your package. There are some, some upgrade uh, options. If, if someone wants to drink only from the top shelf, then we do have some upgrade options for them at, at that point. So, but pretty much everything, we do three meals a day plus a sunset snack. And so it pretty much everything's included. Awesome. That sounds great. Um, I do have a question that just came in from Laura and she is asking about nitrox. Um, is it available? Oh, How it, much is it? it? Is. What I'm, can you give us there? Yeah, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that. We do have nitrox at both resorts. Uh, we pump 32%. Uh, so whether you want those in 80s or 63s or 100s, we, we uh, have an upcharge for, for the nitrox, uh, but it is available for all of your dives, whether you want it for one dive or for the entire week. We do have nitrox. Excellent. And what about training, dive training? If somebody wants to do, um, you know, either brush up on their skills or maybe do an advanced course, what kind of um, classes do you have on offer? Absolutely. We have a couple of instructors uh, down there that will teach anything from, from discover scuba uh, experiences through scuba reviews, open water courses, advanced courses, uh, we, we teach rescue in lots of different specialties. It's a great place for, for people that live in areas that, that don't have a good deep water site to come down and do your, your deep dive for your advanced class or do your deep dive in specialties. Um, so any class pretty much. We do recommend that people do like the e-learning before coming down um, as they're, they're pretty um, video intensive and things like that. And they don't run as well down there as they do up here. So you can get all your online stuff done and then come down there to enjoy your vacation. Cause who wants to do book work on vacation? You just want to do the fun part, which is the, the learning and the diving uh, in the water. Absolutely. That e-learning is such a great, you know, 
thing that they've come out with over the past few years. Um, like you said, even though sitting by that pool, um, you know, on the lazy river studying wouldn't be the worst, but I definitely agree that you want to be in the water. Um, you know, I have to tell you, I am very fortunate um, working for Caradonna Dive Adventures that I get to travel to a lot of beautiful uh, dive destinations. And when I dove Wanaha, I mean, I was blown away. I, it was pretty pristine diving. There was a variety of, um, you know, uh, um, structures, you know, the swim throughs, the kind of cathedral type dives, um, and a lot of really great, um, great fish life. I was one of the last ones coming up on the boat and I saw an eagle ray just kind of meandering and he came right towards me. I think I posted the video on uh, Carrot on his page when I got back because, you know, they're, they're usually so shy and I don't know if it's just because it's not so heavily, you know, dived out there. Um, We were literally the only ones in the water, you know, it's so refreshing to go to a place where you don't have boats sitting on top of each other trying to get on the same dive site. Um, it, it's really um, a gem. So I'm uh, a little jealous that you get to be there every day, but I will be back soon. Um, so I think we've answered all the questions. Um, one quick one came in about the upgrade on the um, the drinks package. So um, can you just, how does that exactly work? Is that by the by the drink or is it if they just want to, a flat feed upgrade to call brands or how does that work? Yes, uh, it, either way. We have, we have drink menus that if someone wants, you know, to, to enjoy a, a uh, a McAllen at the end of the night, they can buy it by the drink. Um, or when they, when they get to the resort, um, they can, they can say that if they already know they want to do it, they just let us know and we'll put the upgrade on their, on their room and they can enjoy the top shelf the, the entire time they're there. That's one of the nice things is once you're there, whether you're getting something in the gift shop or something extra at the bar or a massage, don't ever have to take your, your, your wallet out till the last day because we're going to just put it on your room and at the end of the day, we'll have everything. At the end of the week, we'll have everything on there for you. Awesome. And don't forget the um, daily happy hour had a cocktail of the day. I think I sampled each and every one of those. <laughs> well, and, and I always say that I, I've got the lazy river set, you know, but to, to where it's two laps per cocktail so that, you know, in your first lap, you go around and you order your next cocktail. And on the second lap, the bartender will be there with, uh, with, to take your empty glass and take your, your full glass. But I always need researchers to make sure I've got that set right. Oh, I will volunteer for that anytime. So I, this was just a fabulous presentation. Thank you guys so much for your time. I think we've answered everyone's questions um, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Thank you, Doris. You've been, you're, you're such, you, you're so well-traveled that it's really wonderful that you can bring your first um, hand knowledge of, of uh, diving in Guanaja and staying at the properties and how much fun it is. And um, as we all phase back into travel, we are looking forward to visiting you in the future. Um, and our agents are available for future bookings. And we will also follow up with uh, some promotions that we have that we'll send out to everyone who participated in the webinar so that they have a chance to see some of the promotions, what we're calling our recovery promotions. So thank you so much, Lee and um, Doris. And we will hope to see you all very soon diving. Take care. <laughs>